Eyewitness News at noon starts now. The stage is set. Indianapolis is ready for the national spotlight as the Super Week begins. Want to show you a live look now at Georgia Street, decked out for football fans. We're seeing a lot of people gathering there right now. The celebration begins this afternoon, and some of these fans may be dealing with a little bit of snow tonight. We'll have more on the weather we will all face downtown in just a moment. Good afternoon. Happy Friday to you. I'm Scott Swan. Our Super Bowl coverage begins downtown today with our City Beat reporter, Mary Mills. She joins us live from Georgia Street, where crowds are already beginning to gather. Mary, what do you have down there? Hey, Scott, that's right. A lot of excitement down here. You know, the official activities don't officially kick off until 3 o'clock, but people can't wait to get down here and see all the activities. Right now, they're doing uh, some of the first zip line rides. They've got some VIPs. The student ambassadors who are up there getting harnessed, our own John Stair will be among them. I believe he is supposed to be taking the zip ride line about 1220. So hopefully we will hear from him. Uh, the line, I'm told, 800 feet up, goes about 40 miles an hour, lasts just 45 seconds. You can see a big crowd down here. Earlier today, we were um, over on Monument Circle, saw quite a bit of activity there as well. A lot of folks with their cameras checking things out, taking pictures in front of the big Roman numerals. Also, the 33 Indy cars there decked out in uh, the team logos of the 32 NFL teams on display, that drawing a lot of attention as well. Just lots of activity and excitement downtown. You can just feel all the energy in the air. Here's what a few of the folks we talked to had to say about it. It is beautiful. These people have done a nice job. I can't wait to see all the people down here. <laughs> That's why I'm down here early. <laughs> oh, she was beautiful, though. Uh, it's been fun um, trying to see what it's going to look like. Um, when the X first went up, it was kind of neat just seeing how big it was, and then when all the numbers were up there, too. Are you guys going to jump yeah. in? No. no you, have to, you have to go back to work. Go back to work. <laughs> oh, no. My husband and I own a business down here, so we've kind of been prepping and following the Super Bowl committee and, you know, trying to figure out what was going on and sort of that thing for a while. So I don't think any of us really know exactly what to expect. I think we're all just waiting for everything to happen. You're not excited? No. <laughs> what brings you down here? Once-in-a-lifetime deals I, to me. How many more years will it be before we'll ever get it back again? So at my age, you better do it now or you don't ever get to do it. I have to tell you, Clyde Stringer there from uh, Greencastle, 82 years old, and he says he came down here specifically just so he could take the zip line ride. Again, they are getting ready for the next round of folks who will be zipping across uh, here on Capitol Avenue. The folks who will be taking the zip line today include Mark Miles and Allison Melanchthon with the uh, Super Bowl host committee, uh, Colts owner Jim Ursay, Gary Brackett with the Indianapolis Colts, and several others. And here we go. You can see it live. Check it out. Looks like there are three people coming down. I believe the first folks coming down are the Super Bowl ambassadors. Looks like they're having fun. They've got their hands up in the air. Yeah. And again, they have had advanced sales uh, for the zipline rides, and those sold out. You can still come down here, though, but you may have to stand in line. Again, check it out. A lot of people down on um, Capitol here and Georgia as well. If we can pan around and show the Super Bowl village here, they are having the ribbon cutting and official opening ceremony starting at 3 o'clock today. Same goes for the NFL experience and the huddle. That is that uh, warming facility with restaurants, entertainment, and other things in the old Nordstrom uh, down the street from here. So that will give folks an option. Also want to point out over here that they've got the heaters going. It's a bit chilly. Not too bad, but there are places where you can warm up. So they are expecting big crowds down here later. And again, really right now, you can see a lot of folks, whether they're on their lunch hour or simply taking the day off, coming down to check it out and uh, take part in all the fun activities down here, Scott.